Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last part, we challenged the Gym of Olivine City. And in this part, we're gonna explore the Lake of Rage a little bit. Uh, before we get going though, if you try to leave the city over here, this guy will stop you and he's like, Hi kid, I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try Yummy Rage Candy Bar. All yours for 300 Poke Dollars. So yeah, Rage Candy Bar. Okay. So you're thinking that, oh, if I buy this, he'll let me buy. Oh, and someone in Kanto wanted to get one, but he didn't have any in stock, so... Hint for a side quest later on, but... Yeah, you're probably thinking, oh, I bought one, he'll let me through now. Nope. I don't want to accept you after buying one from me, but buying a Rage Candy Bar has nothing to do with whether I'd allow you to pass here. Johto has many places to visit, blah 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 blah. This tree looks very, very suspicious, with that antenna sticking out of it. Just saying. Anyways, let's go north. And there's already trainers here. I can do so much with my Pokemon, it's super fun! Uh -huh. Sand Shrew. I haven't seen one of these since Union Cave. Zubat! Quilava, kill it with fire! Burn in hell! Defense curl? No thank you. Come back when you've learned a useful move. And again with the un... Ooh. Again with the Pokémon underleveled and yet somehow able to evolve. First it was the Dug Trio, now it's the Sand Slash. And Flaffy's finally gonna be used after like three videos! Uh, if I were you guys... I would not come through this gate, because you're gonna get mugged for a thousand Poké Dollars, just saying. Are you going to the Lake of Rage 2? Let's play for a little while. That sounds really dirty. I really don't need to go into any explanation for that. No! Not sing! Awaken, Fluffy! Minimize! No, nah, you're dead anyway. Okay, stop making sexual innuendos. No. I couldn't care less about Clefairy. Pokemaniac? You have any rare Pokemon? Uh, not really. Nothing is rare anymore with Pokestav. The arena's down. Charge. Let's see. Uh, I'll just. Growl might actually come in handy. Go Lapras. Stop jabbing me with their horn, jeez. No, I don't want your phone number. Let's put Heracross in front now. Let's go ahead and grab that item I saw down here. As soon as we've run away from this Flaffy. Max Ether, okay. That was worth it, I guess. 
More Pokemaniacs. I love Pokemon, that's why I started, and why I'll keep collecting Pokemon. You and everyone else, like, 15 years ago. Uh, I guess we can just send out Flaffy again. I wasn't expecting to kill that in one hit, actually. Because of Slowbro's natural bulk. Turn around, Mr. Pokemaniac. Would you get this? Some red-haired kid... Red-haired kid made fun of my precious Pokemon. Hmm, my Pokemon's great. I almost made it sound like Red Care Bear. Jeez. Could not talk. Focus energy? That's gonna do absolutely nothing. Yeah, if you would've poisoned me, that would've just ensured my victory, because of guts. Counter? No thanks. And I think we're already at the Lake of Rage. Yes, we are. So you can tell, it's raining. There's a reason for that. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue? I'm not answering you, Wade. Yeah, this sounds interesting. A red Gyarados. The Gyarados are angry! It's a bad omen! Gyarados are always angry. That's why they're called the atrocious Pokemon. Let's see what these people have to say. I hear I heard this like was made by Rampage and Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection with their mass outbreak now. There are usually more people here, but I guess because Red Gyarados is still here, people are hiding in fear. So let's go see what this Red Gyarados is all about. Well, what do you know? There it is. Okay, I'm not gonna play stupid here. This is a shiny Pokémon! Normally, you have a 1 in 8,192 chance to find a shiny Pokémon, but this Red Gyarados is a guaranteed shiny. The only guaranteed shiny in any Pokémon game. And this thing is actually kind of hard to catch because of Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage does a fixed 40 damage, and that's going to be a two-hit KO on most of the Pokemon you have at this point. Now, I'm obviously not going to use this on my team, but this will actually make a good HM Slave later on. Twister. I used Thunderbolt, but that'd kill it. I don't want to do that. And that's a KO. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Uh, I guess I can go to Lapras. See what I can do here. Gyarados is also pretty bulky, as far in addition to being an excellent physical attacker, so if you really want a Gyarados, you can go ahead and catch this one and use it on your team, because it it's really a good Pokemon. The only real problem you're gonna have is that times four weakness to electric, but other than that, it's a pretty solid Pokemon. Okay, that should be good enough as far as weakening it, because Gyarados isn't that hard to catch. So I'm just going to use a Great Ball right now, and that should catch it. Okay, maybe not. And there goes Lapras. 
Now, the reason I didn't go for an attack there was because I was afraid of getting crit. Because that always happens. Uh... I guess I can... I guess I can go to Heracross and get some minor damage on it with Brick Break. Because of the resistance. Okay, that should make it really easy to catch now. Just getting it in the red helps you catch it a lot. So we're gonna try another Great Ball and see what happens from there. And we got it. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. No one cares about the Pokedex. And after catching slash defeating the Red Gyarados, you get the Red Scale. Now, if you you can go to Mr. Pokemon's house way back in Cherry Grove City, and he'll give you an experience share if you give him the Red Scale. Just so you know, the Red Scale has no other use in the game, so you might as well do it. Now, as soon as you catch or defeat the Red Gyarados, you'll notice this red-haired guy here. Let's go check out who he is. That Red Gyarados wasn't acting right, as I feared somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the Wild Tales? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? I guess. Excellent. Seems as the Lake of Rage's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably the cause. Mahogany. In that suspicious souvenir shop. I'll be waiting for you, Mahogany. Well, someone's a show-off. We can do that, too. We can easily fly into the sunset just as you can. Alright, so let's... Ah, shit! No! Fuck! Glitch after glitch after glitch! Fuck! I saw it, but I pushed the button too damn soon. I could have easily just saved and reset the emulation. Then I wouldn't have to redo all that, but now I'm gonna have to redo all that. God damn it. I was... Again, if the emulator wouldn't just lasted for another 30 seconds. Oh, fuck. Really gotta see what I can do about this.